So adenoids are immune tissue at the back of the nose, and when they become enlarged, they can cause nasal obstruction and a chronic runny nose. Like the tonsils, when they become enlarged, they can contribute to obstructive sleep apnea and snoring. These are the two main reasons to remove the adenoids, for obstructive sleep apnea and for a chronic blocked runny nose. They can also be removed as part of a grommet surgery to improve eustachian tube function. The adenoids are usually removed through the mouth and the procedure is done either as a day case procedure or as an overnight stay when they're being removed as part of an adenotonsillectomy. There are some risks from the operation. Firstly, the general anaesthetic risks and secondly, the surgery risks. The main risk from surgery is bleeding, although significant bleeding is rare. Very, very rarely your child may need to go back to theatre to stop the bleeding or very rarely they would require a blood transfusion. Pain is unusual after adenoidectomy and is usually controlled with simple analgesia. With any surgery there is a risk of infection. This is usually managed with antibiotics. Your child should go home on the same day as adenoidectomy or the following morning if it is performed in conjunction with a tonsillectomy.